Hello, my friends. I'm sitting actually just outside of my home and um, just enjoying a bit of a respite from the heat. It's a beautiful day today. And I'm um, just sitting with the sun warming my face for a moment uh, before I go to the office. I was thinking about what to talk about today and what to connect around. And the thing that came to me, which is the verse that we've seen many, many times in scripture, and we've talked about it before. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I think it's a choice to be glad in the day. Sometimes we can wake up in the morning and think, "Ugh, this is another day we have to do this or that, or, um, oh, I wish this wasn't part of my day. And yet, we're called to rejoice in the day that God has given to us. Um, and sometimes that's not actually that easy because if we're suffering or we're struggling, um, it's really hard to say, thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, God, for this moment. Thank you for life. Um, but today, in this moment, as I sit with the sun on my face, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this spot here in the sunshine. I'm grateful for God's presence in this day. I'm grateful for your presence. And I'm grateful for all the gifts that God has given to each one of us. And today I'm grateful for nature. I love how beautiful it is. This morning the sun was kind of in an interesting haze and, and the colors were just incredible. I'm grateful for God's creation. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So as I think about this today, I think, you know, maybe I need to do an attitude shift once in a while when I start my day. Sometimes um, I think I just started on the wrong side of the bed and I need to actually say, Lord, thank you for this day, this day that you've given me, this moment, this incredible moment. And we need to actually take moments and stop and just be with our God and say, thank you. Sometimes we don't have any other prayer Sometimes we don't even feel like thanking God. But as we walk through the day, we could just stop and say, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And maybe if we don't even have any other words, we can just say, thanks, God, for being here. Thanks, God, for, for all you've done. And just thank you. So, you know, as we're walking today, and as you're walking today, just kind of try it out. Like, just throw up your hands in the air or... Look to the sky and say, thank you, Lord. I think it'll change our attitude a little bit. It'll change how we feel about things sometimes. Um, maybe when we get a phone call from someone that we really appreciate, we can say, oh, thank you, God. Or um, maybe if we just notice something beautiful outside, we can say, thank you, Lord. The other day, the birds were playing in my little bird bath and they were just, they were just having a heyday. And, um, and it just made me grateful um, for nature and for their little presence there. So I'm gonna try that today. I'm just saying, thanks God, thank you. And um, maybe sometimes we can't even think of something in that moment that we are thankful for, but we can just be thankful for God being God and God being present. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you. Thank you that you are here. Thank you that you are with us and that you do love us. And thank you for your, for the wind in the trees and for nature and for the sun that shines on our face. And thank you, God, for the sound of running water, for birds that play in the bird bath. And just thank you for being with us. Thank you for being our God. We pray this in your name. Amen. So today I want to say I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for your presence. And, um, and, and I give thanks to God for you as well. Indeed, let's remember that, that verse. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for joining me today. I really enjoy these moments with you. And so I'm very thankful for that too. God bless you today. Have a great day. Peace be with you.